Big Pastor. Tiny Teaching! Hey, welcome back. This is uh, our Tiny Teaching segment. This is something we're going to offer every week. It's a, a small uh, teaching, kind of bite-sized, uh, just enough to uh, kind of carry through the week. And, and each week we'll talk about a, a little different topic. Uh, I'm, I'm coming back to what we actually started last week, and we looked in the book of Acts chapter uh, 3. We're talking about the importance of really engaging in, in the church life, in the church family. Because, you know, the church isn't a building, the church is the people. And so if you're not engaged with the folks, it's, it's hard. It's hard to really grow uh, the way that you want to and the way God wants you to grow spiritually. Um, we go back to the first church. All the believers devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching, to fellowship, to sharing in meals, including the Lord's Supper, and to prayer. And a deep sense of awe came over all of them, and the apostles performed miraculous signs and wonders. And all the believers met together in one place. They shared everything they had. They sold their property and possessions. They shared the money with those in need, and they worshiped in the temple each day. They met in homes for the Lord's Supper. They shared their meals with great joy and generosity, all the while praising God, enjoying the goodwill of all the people. And each day the Lord added to their fellowship of those who were being saved. I want to focus on uh, today a little bit again about the reason we come together in the first place. And we see that in the early church, there was, a, there was a real need. They were, we talked about being devoted last week. They weren't just casually committed, they were devoted. It was, a, it was a priority, it was something very important to them. And when they did come together, it says a deep sense of awe came over all of them. And, I, and I'm wondering, what was, the, what was the genesis or what was the origination of this, this deep sense of awe? When they came together, there was just a... A, a magical moment about it. You know, there was just an impression about it. There was a seriousness. There was an urgency, a deep sense of when you're, you're in awe of something, right? Why, why did that happen? Well, I think they, first of all, I think they were in the presence of God. They, se they sensed that. They recognized it. Coming together like that, Jesus said, we're two or more gathered. There I am in their midst. They had a sense of that presence of God filling, the Holy Spirit having been inside of them uh, and dwelling in them. But more than that, I think they, they felt like it was a tremendous opportunity, it was a tremendous blessing for them to come together and worship the living God. And I'm going to be sharing in a, in a, in a recent teaching, uh, a future teaching on Sunday, the, 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 the fact that now I think churches, kind of Christians, people who follow Christ, we've kind of been polluted by consumerism. You know, we're, we're constantly looking for the, the next best thing or, or this, this, this shiny thing over here or this show over here. And, and we don't have that same sense of awe of just coming into the presence of God and, and worshiping God and coming together as other believers and, and, and realizing the great value of that. We've, we've lost the sense of awe of community worship, worshiping the Lord. And I think it's something that we want to try to recapture because it's, it's going to be difficult. Uh, we've seen it with COVID, how, how quickly we've lost so many things. And those opportunities to worship God in many ways have been diminished. And I, and I love the fact that we, that we bring our, our messages and, and our services through technology. And you get, you get a chance to you know, be at home and watch it on Facebook or YouTube or the website. I love, it's all cool. We're glad for that. And a lot of churches, you know, praise God, if it wasn't for that, we would have lost touch with everybody during the COVID time. But there's a quality, there's a value of coming together in community that just isn't met when you're sitting at home and watching it on your computer. And I think a lot of times it's just people have fallen out of the habit. They've fallen out of the routine. They've lost that sense of awe of coming together and worshiping the Lord as, as a group, as a body of believers. And so I want to encourage you this week, think about that. If you don't have underlying health risk, you're under 65, I want to encourage you, if you've, if you've not come back yet, if you're, if you're still kind of at home doing home church, I want to encourage you to come on out. 830 10, 15 indoor services, 10, 15, 11, uh, 10, 15, our virtual service. We're still having the outdoor service at 11, 45. And then in, in the first week of November, we're going to, because of popular demand, we're going to start bringing some growth groups back so people can start meeting in homes. All safe, all socially distanced. Uh, we're going to be conscious of that and sensitive to it. But I think we really, I want to ask you to pray. And if you've lost that sense of awe, of the, the beauty of coming together as a body of believers and worshiping God, I want you to pray and ask God to give that back to you this week. Hey, thanks for watching. Hopefully you see you Sunday. God bless you. I love you.